Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add sidebar in WordPress. So this is actually pretty easy. There's just a few steps that you need to do to, for this to work. So there's actually multiple ways to get sidebars. But the most fundamental thing that you have to remember here is sidebars are actually dependent on what team you are currently using. So here, let's just choose a team that we could actually use to edit our sidebars. So let's just go here into appearances and go to teams. And here we want to go to the free section. And here let's go to the very bottom because sometimes teams on the very bottom are the ones that has the sidebar. So here just click on it and just click on activate design. And I understand activate. Now here, let's wait for this to load up and we want to customize this design. So usually if you're editing a sidebar, it's usually located underneath the widgets section. So when you click on that, you should be able to see the sidebar section. So in here, you could basically edit it, but sometimes it's not gonna look properly. So you have to really find the correct type of theme for you to use for your website. As you can see right now, I'm just gonna add a block for this sidebar one. I'm just gonna add a paragraph for this one. And maybe I want to type in testing this sidebar. And when we actually view it here, we won't be able to automatically see it here. Because usually it's actually hidden at the top here. That's where the uh, the gear icon is. As you can see, this is testing this sidebar. So yeah, so this is one of the ways that you could add it. But unfortunately right now, it's not in the side. It's not technically a sidebar, but it is a sidebar function. So yeah, it actually depends on the team that you're going to use. You could just basically go back. Let's just go back here. Let's go back to our dashboard and we want to go to teams again. So if you're looking for the right team to use that, that has the sidebar on it, you just want to click on it or for example here, you want to open the live demo first to see if there are any sidebars that you could actually edit. So if you don't see any sidebars, you can just go ahead and go back. But one more thing that you could do here to search for sidebars or teams that uses sidebars is you want to just type in sidebar and you should be able to see teams or results about that. So as you can see, I'm just going to type in sidebar here, sidebar. And as you can see, there's already a suggestion that you could use here. So left sidebar, right sidebar, and yeah. So most of this is going to be free or it's either paid. So you have to pay for this one if you want to use that specific team. But they also have community teams here, if you notice. So there's multiple teams that you could use. You could actually search this on community forums or teams that has sidebars on it. And yeah. So if you have community teams, like for example, you'll be able to download the zip file itself and you want to upload it in your website. So if you want to do that, let's go here at same thing in the team section. If you have your zip file, you could go ahead and install a new team here, but you'll have to have the business plan for this one to unlock the uh, custom up upload or installation of your teams here. So you won't be able to do it on free mode. But yeah, if you don't want to upload it and don't want to be messy about it, or if you're uh, not hosting your WordPress website and your own servers, then you just want to host it in via WordPress.com, then I would suggest you to just add a plugin. So there's multiple plugins that you could be you basically use here. So one of the plugins that I would suggest you to use is the lightweight lightweight widget area. So here, lightweight widget area plugin content aware. So it's going to display new sidebars on any posts, page category, etc. Works with classic widgets, block widgets, and all teams. So if you install this widget here, you will be able to see another section here that says content aware. And from there, you'll have the option to edit your sidebar, which is really cool if you're going to ask me. So, but unfortunately, if you're going to try and install this, it, it actually requires also an upgrade of your plan. So you have to have the paid plan on WordPress to install widgets. Now, another plugin that I would suggest you to install is going to be lightweight sidebar, this one. 
So it's another thing that you could do or install in your account and basically add sidebars into your website. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.